What is up guys, Smobbins here, welcome back to another episode of Crazy Craft, and as you can see, we have built ourselves a house. If you haven't seen the time lapse yet, go click the screen now and you'll be able to see that, uh, of me building this massive house here. And if you haven't guessed already, yes, it is the Adventure Time house, the tree house for Jake and Finn, and this took me a good time to build. It took me about four hours or so to build. It took a long time because I had to line each of the leaves with wood, otherwise the leaves don't stay there. It was quite annoying to do, and each block was placed by individually. There's no world edit or anything used for this. But I didn't really show much of the inside of the house in the video because I've actually decorated it. So we're gonna do a quick house tour now. So let's go in and look. So we come into this little red house. This is the only entrance to the house. Uh, only entrance and only exit, unless you like jump down outside or something. Uh, but we've got like a nice little area here. I'm gonna have like the crafting table and all my crafting stuff and furnaces in here. A uh, nice little entrance. Uh, we go through here and we've got the tree area. We got like a room here which I've made. I decided to keep them all open plan uh, sort of thing because I think it just looks better so you can see the huge size of the tree. Uh, but we've got another couple of rooms over here that we can use and put stuff in like this. This one goes all the way around here. Uh, like that and people were worried that uh, the termites might eat my house, but I've put in loads of these termite torches uh, So hopefully termites should not eat the wood because I've had that problem before uh, with crazy craft, but we go up ladders here Quite slowly and here we have a platform where you can get off and it leads outside here and you can go up there to the little room over here and in here uh, we just got a small little room uh, nothing in it at the moment because I haven't put anything in. I just made the rooms and stuff like that. You can also follow this platform all the way around and it will lead to here, which will take you up to the same floor that we're about to go up. Uh, but let's go up the ladder just this time. Now we get to our first huge room, which we haven't put any like rooms in yet. It's just one big room at the moment. We will split it up at one point, most likely. Uh, but yeah, we've got the stairs here, which lead you to the place I just said, to the balcony bit over here, like that. Um, but yeah, apart from that, that's pretty much the first floor, uh, which is, oh dear, just plain blue. Uh, I went for the decoration. I didn't really know what to colour to do it, but I thought blue would be fine. I've got some nice chandeliers on the ceiling. And up here, though, this is my favourite room, we have the rainbow room. Oh my god, it's got all these different chandeliers with the poles and stuff coming down. Loads of lights and stuff, and it's all rainbow themed, and it's lovely. And we can go out here as well, and we get outside and to the other tower over here which looks nice indeed and we have one final room uh, left which we have to go back downstairs for so we go out here like this and we've got the final room in here which is quite a big one actually uh, I could probably get I probably might use this as my bedroom to be honest it's quite a nice little room I think that make quite a cool bedroom to be honest. So yeah, I probably use that as my bedroom. But today, what we're gonna do is we're gonna decorate our house and just do some crazy fun things. I'm not entirely sure yet. Uh, we need to separate the rooms and stuff like that. So yeah, let's get to it. We're first gonna like sort out this area over here. I can move our crafting table and everything along. Gonna make myself an axe just for the wood to make it a bit easier. I'm gonna actually go collect a load of wood because we're gonna make ourselves a chest room, like a storage room. So we need some signs and we need some chests. Uh, because I want to keep everything organized in this as there are a lot of items in Crazy Craft and I want to keep it all cool uh, and neat and stuff. So let's go find some trees to chop down. We could actually portal our way over to these trees over here if I place that there. Ah, that one worked. So we can go through here and we're out by the tree which is awesome. So then we can cut down some of these trees. So there we go, 27 should be plenty. Yeah, we got a load of planks out of that. God, this portal gun is really useful for getting around. I might even place one up there. I should really create a back entrance to the tree because I think just one entrance might be not that good. So let's create one here. Okay, so we want our chest room to be relatively close to the crafting area over here. So we're going to place it in this room here as I think this will be most suitable. And because of all the, like, the different levels of the tree, I can just like place chests in cool places like this. And it looks awesome. Get our signs that we made as well. Put signs above them. So we've got wood over there. Then we can have like stone here, ores here, tools here. Armor there, and then maybe coal and redstone in there. I can hear spiders as well. I have no idea where it is. It might be outside somewhere. Okay, so I'm just having a bit more wood uh, so I can make some more uh, boxes. What am I talking about? Boxes, chests. I forgot the word for chest then for a second. Okay, so let's make a load more chests to put stuff in. Need to have an even amount because we obviously need double chests. 
Okay, so 10 more chests, which is awesome, which actually equates to 5 chests. Now we can place some more signs down and stuff, so we're going to have dirt in this one, mob drops in this one, then random in that one, and then we've got two more here, which I have no idea what to do with yet, so I'm just going to place a sign down there for blank. And a blank sign there as well. There we have it. We have all of our chests sorted, which is nice. Now, one thing we are going to make today is going to be an adventures backpack. Because I think that would be quite useful. Uh, so we're going to need a load of different things. One of them being a sleeping bag. And we're going to need ourselves some other cool stuff. So we're going to go collect some of this stuff right now. And um, we haven't got actually any of it yet. So we're going to need to find some cows. Uh, we're going to find some sheep. Uh, so we're going to make some shears, actually, because I think that'll be quite useful. So there we go. We've got our shears and we've got some other stuff. So let's go find some cows and some other things like that. Aha! A cow. Whoa! That's a very weird looking cow. Oh, it was an apple cow. But it did drop some leather, I think? Or did it not? Oh, there no, it did. There we go. So we've got one bit of leather. We need four in total, I think. Uh, so let's kill some more of these apple cows that are around here. Aha! A sheep. Let's go to him. Whoa! Portal there. Oh, God. Okay, we got there eventually. Oh, he's got a hat on as well. A lot of health for a sheep. What did it drop? Oh, I, should... I was meant to... I wasn't meant to kill it. But it did drop a lot of meat, which is awesome. I was meant to use the shears on it, though. So let's use the shears on these ones to drop me some wool. Thank you very much. Why is there a light here? Is there lava around here or something? What? Is it this plant? Do the strawberries glow? Where is this light coming from? I'm... I'm mega confused. It's just normal wood. Okay, so here is another cow that I've found. Where did it just ran off. This one's got a lot of health. Come here, come here, come here. The cows have more health than the apple cows. It dropped no levers. We've still only got one bit of lever. I've killed like three cows now. Ooh, they're pretty though. The strawberries are pretty. We'll just like take all the wool from all the sheep while we're here because it might come in use for later on. There we go. Two more bits of lever from that cow. Ooh, what's this tree? What does this drop? Whoa, hello, what's this here? We've got one of these spawner things. Go oh, away, Enderman. Okay, I, I think that's a mantis spawner. I, I, there seems to be a lot of mobs around me at the moment, which is not good. Exploring at night was an interesting idea, but also a very terrible idea. Okay, that sheep's got a hat. I'm having that hat. That's a dinosaur hat. Get away, mantis. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Get away. Get away. I really need to get away from this mantis spawner. This cow here is nearly dead, and it drops some leather, which is awesome. So we've got all the leather we need now, I think. Wait, where did the leather go that it dropped? There it is. I found it. It's all good. We've got five bits of leather, and we only needed four, which is awesome. Let's going to trim a few more of these sheep, though, because wool always comes in handy. The creepers have gone back to their normal health. I think there's, there was an update, and we've got all the normal health and all the mobs again. So the sheep actually have more health than creepers, which makes no sense at the moment. But that's the way it is. Okay, so there is a Pac-Man here, and we're going to try and portal it away. Uh, I'm not sure if it's going to work, but we can give it a good go. I was just taking the portal far away. Lizzie is panicking of it. It's going to eat her house, and it might eat my house. And it's going to eat CBK's house as well. Uh, but I'm going to try portal it away. Didn't seem to work. Oh, it worked. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, what's happening? This is not good. This is not good. Ah. Wait a second, if we go on the other side of the portal, it might come out this way. It's, it seems to be stuck in the portal at the moment. Um, um, I'm not sure what to do. The Pac-Man has disappeared. Where's the Pac-Man gone? Where did it go? Uh, I, I think we, we, we've messed up. Lizzie says she has something for me. I'm not sure what it is, but I'm excited. There seems to be a lot of zombies chasing me at the moment, though. Oh, dear. Lizzie has, has, has got something for me. What is it? She's angry at me for some reason. I have no idea why. Why is she gone? Why is she running away? Hello, Lizzie. Why are you following me? You said you have? That was until I killed the zombies. What? They were attacking me. I'm so confused right now. Apparently she had found something for me, but I defended myself from zombies and she doesn't want to give me them anymore. Anyway, let's go back inside our house and oh dear. let's make ourselves some backpacks, shall we? So the sleeping bag is fairly straightforward, like that. And then we need some wool and we get ourselves a sleeping bag. We're going to need some glass though, and we do not have any glass. We've got a spade though, and we can find some sand. So let's go find ourselves some sand. Here's fine. This is really close by still, but oh well. Okay, then we can put all this sand on to smelt in our furnace. 
Okay, so we need 14 bits of glass in total, but we can start on making one of the things now, uh, which is just 7 bits of glass, 2 bits of iron, and we get a backpack tank. We wait for some more glass to smelt. One more bit. There we go. And then we can make our other tank, like so. And we've got two backpack tanks. Now we're going to need a gold ingot and a chest and our leather. So we can get one of our bits of gold out of here. We may just take it all and smelt it all. And eight bits of wood for a chest. So there is our chest, our bit of gold. And then we can make our backpack by doing this, this and this. Putting our sleeping bag at the bottom. Our two backpack tanks there. And then finally our gold ingot at the top and we get an adventurer backpack. And we can use this to store like loads of things. We can store water, water I think that is. We can put our backpack on our back. Oh, and it looks so cool. Look at that. I'm not sure how we get it off now though. Ah, oh, we press B. Awesome. So we got our backpack here. We have it on our back. Uh, how do we take it off? We can take it off by doing that. Awesome. So we're going to dye this green to go with our armor. Uh, we'll do it with my skin, in fact. Uh, so we're going to need some cactus and we're going to need some other stuff. Cactus, we're going to need bone meal to make ourselves some dye. And I actually have some cactuses planted outside my house. And I can take the top off those and they will grow back. I'm, pre I, I'm pretty sure they do, at least. So there we go. We can smell our cactuses. I really need to find a skeleton to get some bones, though, as I'm a bit short on the bones. So let's just head down here, see if we can... Ah, oh, there's nothing down there. See if we can find a cave anywhere with some skeletons in. I know there's a cave area over here, but how far down does it go? Oh, there's a creeper. Ouch. But ha ha, I can see you on there. Hello, my friend. Drop some bones for me. Aha, he did. There we go. We've got one bone, which should be enough to make us eight. Yeah, we've got more than eight now, which is awesome. Uh, now we need to get out of here. Can climb this water. And we are up. Nice. How did you get in here, Mr. Zombie? Thought all this area was lit up. Anyway, let's make ourselves some lime dye like that. Oh, wow. We made way too many. Too much. Uh, but there we go, we got eight spare just in case. And we can put our adventure backpack in the middle and turn it into a lime green adventure backpack. And let's see what it looks like on. Nice. Looks really cool. Oh, I really like this. And we can store so much stuff in here. I really want to try out this liquid thing. Now, I want to decorate out this room a bit and I want to make some kitchen surfaces and things like that. But I'm going to need uh, some materials for that so we're gonna go mining and stuff looking for some materials oh dear I'm sitting on my cactus and we have our adventures backpack this time I do need some torches though however so I've got 20 torches with the coal that I had remaining and I will mine a load of coal as well with my iron pickaxe uh, so let's go exploring and we're gonna head far away from our house as I just don't like mining close to home I don't know why oh god there's a pac-man over there Let's make sure he doesn't see me and doesn't eat my house. Oh, a new hat. I shall collect that. Have I even got a hat on at the moment? What is that? That looks like a weeping angel. Wait, what is this? Angel plinth and there's a ladder. Okay, let's head down here then. Okay, I'm kind of scared now. Lizzie just died by a zombie, oh dear. No, these aren't weeping angels, are they? Oh my god, I can hear them moving. Oh my god, that's creepy. Let's mine our way in. Huh, huh. Oh my god, it just moved. Baby weeping angel. They are weeping angels. I saw you there, Mr. Weeping Angel. Ooh, there's a chest under this one. Okay, so we've got some nice stuff here. Some name tags. Uh, so we'll just mine along. Oh, and instantly we discover a cave. Wow, that was lucky. Ooh, what is that? Can I mine that? It is... Ermagon Crystal. I have no idea what that's for, but interesting. I like gathering new materials. It's exciting. There's loads of it in here. What the heck? Ooh, a diamond. No, it's a fake. I, I fell for it again. I always fell for these blooming fake diamond blocks. Oh, there's a little weeping angel there. Nah, that is creepy. I really don't like those. Ooh, that's actually a block of emerald. I was expecting it to be one of those weird things. Why is that block? That weeping angel, nah. Nah, I don't like those. What is this? This drops us. Yeah, well, let me pick it up. Is my inventory full? Oh, my inventory's full. Let me place a load of stuff in the backpack. That is poor gold ore. What? Maybe it makes smelts into an ingot or something. What? I just found a diamond block. No, that's going to be a troll, isn't it? I can tell already it's going to be a troll. 
I'm going to mine it anyway, though, just, just in case it's not a troll. Oh! What? It's not a troll. What? That was lucky. Oh, my God, there's loads of resources down here. What is this thing? This purple thing here. Oh, that's amethyst. Nice. Ooh, diamond. Is this real diamond or is it troll diamond? It's troll diamond. Of course it is. God damn it. I think amethyst is better than emerald, so I'm going to keep this... Uh, these amethyst and make a pickaxe out of it maybe i think that might be quite good now nah, there's they're, they're i bet they are more troll diamonds but i'm just gonna check ah oh, i hate this <gasps> no that's real awesome okay so that's more diamond there that i discovered wow a whole load of it as well we got loads of diamonds from this trip shame day diamond in crazy craft isn't actually as good as some other things i just discovered another diamond block what is going on what there's loads of them what? What is this? This is like so many diamonds. What? Wow, 54 diamonds in one trip. What is going on? Oh, another diamond block. Hello. Oh, wow, two. So that's 18 more diamonds there. What the heck? Why does... Only in Crazy Craft will you find random diamond blocks just lying around. Okay, that weeping angel just moved. What just happened? What just happened? Where am I? I just got knocked through walls. What? Is this real? No, it's not real. Oh, god damn it. Okay, I think it's time to go home now. So we're going to just teleport to Lizzie. Ah, there's Lizzie's house. Okay, so as probably is, should be on the other side of this. What? Our house is on fire. Oh, my god, no. What's happened? Oh, my god. What? What, 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 what? Uh-oh. Why has this happened? Why has there been fire? Where's the fire come from? What just hit me? The weeping angel just hit me. What is going on? This weeping angel has like... What is going on? Why is my screen doing this? I've gone into game mode C because my house is kind of burning down and this bloody thing is doing this. What is going on? Weeping angel, go away. I don't know how to stop this shaking. I have no idea what's going on. My crazy craft has fully glitched out. My house is burning down. What is happening? I can't get anything out of my inventory. Oh dear. Can't open any chests or anything. This is so annoying. So my entire house is burning down, which is hours of work being destroyed in front of my eyes. I don't know what to do right now. I am panicking. So there is nothing I can really do for now. My house has burnt down quite a lot, but I could probably fix it. Not too much to worry about that. Uh, but I need to reset my entire player data apparently to fix this. And that is done by Waffles on the server side. So I have to wait till he's online to do that. So there's nothing I can really do for now, guys. But yes, I'll be back with another episode where hopefully everything is fixed. And my house will be fixed hopefully as well by then. But yes, that will be all for now. Goodbye.